Welcome back to Chasing Dreams Homestead. So, uh, we've been spending time with the piglets like y'all know we like to do. But I'm making this video to let y'all know that we are going to shoot a three or four part video series on raising cooning coons. Uh, we're gonna go over many things that you need to know prior to getting the breed. And then once you start raising the breed, it's pretty cold here in Southern Indiana today. Uh, we actually woke up to snowfall this morning, so the piglets are hiding under the heat lamp. Dylan, why don't you come on over here and show them the piglets? They're under the heat lamp, staying warm. I don't blame them. It's a cold day. Let me see if I can get somebody to play with me. Come here, baby. Come here. Wow, you're a chunk monka. A chunk monka, huh? This little baby's pretty. Yeah, we love this breed. So we got the idea that having the experience we've gained with this breed, we've raised several other breeds over the years. Um, we started out with commercial pigs like almost everybody else. And then uh, we went to a few other heritage breeds. And we finally landed on the Cooney Coonies as our favorite. But having this breed, we decided that, you know, with our experience, we ought to share that with everyone. So we're going to do that video series and break down the different tips and tricks we've learned along the way about the breed you can come back over here buddy so they can see the babies mama's back here eating away big old hermione this girl right here as long as her back is is a great cooney cooney for a family that would want to breed cooney coonies for meat also with a long back, she's able to carry piglets a lot easier than a more compacted pig. Uh, but I'm not going to go too far into all the details about what to look for in breeding stock or any of that right now. Just doing a video while we're out here playing with our babies and letting everyone know that we will be doing a multi-part series on raising cooney coonies and things to look for if you're going to get into them and just sharing some general knowledge about the breed. We, uh, we're we passionate about this breed. We advocate for this breed. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that at one point this breed almost went extinct. Um, it's just really wild to us. Having owned them and fallen in love with their personalities to imagine that we might not have had that opportunity is kind of it's kind of crazy. I'm glad we did. I'm, I'm glad we were blessed to get to know this breed because this has become our favorite breed. Um, but we will try this weekend, hopefully, to get started on that multi-part video series about raising Cooney Coonies and information that you need to know about them and pigs in general. Um, and we'll start posting those as we make those. You know, obviously, we work full-time. We raise children. We raise our critters. And we homestead, so, you know... We'll fit it in when we can, but I think the video series will be very educational and very helpful for a lot of folks. Let me see who else is hiding under here. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. This is crazy how much you guys have chunked up. Week old, y'all. You know, yay big. Look at them. They chunked up now. You done ate all that food, Hermione. You can't have no more tonight, baby. It's just a great breed, y'all. But uh, we'll be back in touch shortly. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe to our channel. We're also on Facebook, Chasing Dreams Homestead. We have an amazing group of dreamers. And we like to say, as always, till next time, y'all, keep dreaming.